했는데. 어? 헤이. 이미. 아. 하이. This is Dr. Keith Witt, the therapist in the wild. And I'm here with an important message that everybody should hear their entire life and most people don't. And here it is. Tone is everything. That's right. 70% of communication is nonverbal. It's face. It is hands. It is tone. Tone and timing. To the people around you, what matters to them is your tone more than the words. You can look at your wife and you can say, oh, I just, I just hate you. And you know what? She'd go, oh, shh. She wouldn't help, couldn't help herself. Or you'd look at her and go, oh, I love you. And she'd go, oh, God. You see what I mean? Tone is everything. You haven't seen this with people and their dogs. Drives me crazy. Get over here. All dogs are here. It's like you're barking. And so you're training your dog to not do anything unless you go at them. You know, so you know, people are walking around with their dogs snarling at them. Drive me crazy. You know, tone. Here. Okay, that kind of stuff. And you can tell that with people who are really good with dogs. They use a firm but loving tone. We are ultra sensitive. We are super sensitive. If you walk, if you say with a negative tone, critical tone, contemptuous tone, especially contempt to anybody, their nervous system feels disapproves of, goes into a shame reaction, and then reacts with anger at you. And bad things are happening. And when someone does that to you, you do the same thing. But if we're aware of that, we can adjust. If someone's using a bad tone with me, you know what I do? I use a good tone with them. So we have a bad tone, we have a good tone. Bad tone, good tone. When you have the dueling bad tones and the good tones, you know what? The good tones always win. The good guys always win. The good tones always win. But you've got to maintain that good tone. That's one of the reasons therapy works. Therapy works because you know what? Therapists are taught to keep a good tone in the face of any kind of insanity that comes into their face. That good tone helps that adjust to a good tone on the other side. And if there's a good tone on the other side, you know what? Good tones are very rarely insane. Little known fact. Someone with a good tone is rarely insane. It can happen, but not nearly as much as bad tones. So listen to the tones as you go about your day. Especially listen to your tones. Especially listen to your tones with your lover, your spouse, your kids. You get tired, you get impatient, and so on. All of a sudden you start using that, <coughs> that impatient tone, <coughs> that tired tone, <coughs> that contemptuous tone, <coughs> that dismissive tone. <coughs> and you'll see them wince. And you know how they're wincing? It's because you like to have an electric prod. When you use that tone, it's like, <coughs> it's like that. It feels like that. And you know what they're going to do? They're going to get pissed off and they're going to give you some crap back. And now all of a sudden we have some kind of family drama. <laughs> we don't like that. So instead, walk through the world giving people good tones. Happy expressions. Someone gives you a bad tone, <coughs> you take your shot and then give them a good tone back and see what happens. Good things will happen. Priceless advice from Dr. Keith Witt, the therapist in the wild.